What's up, guys? It's Lee here, the rental guy. Um, I'm working. Looks like I'm just enjoying myself, but I'm actually uh, adding things to uh, the website because that's how you make money is different revenue streams. So, um, you know, all the items that I've been adding this year, add them onto the website so that people can book them. They don't know to book them unless they're on the website because I've got the clean room now where I'm uh, washing cutlery and I'm washing glassware and uh, plates and all of it and, you know, washing tablecloths. Well, um, you know, the customer needs to know what to rent. So, you know, I've put a section on my website that shows, you know, what a formal place setting involves. Um, you know, it urges them to uh, get numbers of stuff. People want to know what numbers of stuff to get and what they want to get. Now that I've got the big sinks, it's time to add chafing dishes and cooking equipment. Uh, I've added chafing dishes. So these are called sternos. They're little two hour gel canisters that go under here, about a buck 75 each. You can also get these from the dollar store in my area. Uh, these chafing dishes are about $100 each. They come with a lid and then they come with an insert where the food goes. And then this is the water tray. So water goes in there and then the there's these little canisters that hold the sterno and uh, heat up the food and keep the food warm. I threw a barbecue on my website. It won't be uh, booking till summer. Uh, so I haven't actually bought it yet, but I'll buy it as soon as the booking comes. And uh, I went and bought, I went and bought a propane gas griddle, so. So I've got my commercial glass washer here. It's all hooked up. Um, you put the glasses in to the glass racks upside down and the customer returns them right side up. Right here, I've got the glasses right side up. So I just flip them back around before I pop them in and send them through a cycle. Okay, so this is how they come back to me. Dirty and they're kind of dried on right now. So I just flip them all around. So this glass washer has a rinse liquid and a wash liquid, and uh, it is a high temp washer, and it washes them uh, at a sterilizing hot temperature. First load's done here. Uh, they just need to dry on a rack now. So I'll just put mine up here. A few options. You can either get a commercial glass washer so you can bang out heavy amounts of glassware, um, or you can sub rent. Uh, you can try your hand at washing it at home, but it's going to take you forever. This is how I used to wash at home. I wanted to show you or let you in on a little trick that I use to wash glassware. So, and wash glassware at home. So, it's not ideal and I uh, plan to buy a, basically a clean room piece by piece so that when one day when I do get a commercial space or if I try to convert a room in my basement to do it that I'll have everything ready and I won't need to put up a huge amount of capital. I love it looking back at this video just uh, you know showing that you know stick to a plan and then things will work out right? Um, anyways back to this. Right here we have a dishwasher and this here is the rack that normally goes in and a lot of times I do watch glassware just with uh, the glassware in there and then I load it back into the racks but um, you want to be sanitary and the the racks need washing too so uh, generally if you have a smaller rack like this one then you can fit that just on top of uh, this part inside your dishwasher and then you can load the top rack with whatever you want to load but uh there's bigger glassware ones like my ones that hold wine glasses they just won't fit in so what do i do the glass racks don't fit just on the bottom so you go to any hardware store or uh, home depot or whatever you have home hardware i'm not sure what's in the states but you just get these, these little uh, closet, 
closet things and put two of them in here just on the bottom rack and then you can fit your bigger glassware in very easily so it just goes in on top and voila you're washing glassware so once i'm done washing the glassware and it's all dry i take it and i get 121 liter uh, plastic bags i just get them from dollarama i suppose i could probably get them from a supplier much cheaper but uh I just wrap them up here and that keeps them uh, sanitary for uh, to go into storage. Once you get the glassware clean and it's dry and polished, bag it up and then it'll never get dusty and then it'll just be ready to go. So if you're working up to getting a clean room like this, my suggestion is to build your way up slowly while you're uh, preparing to get like this, so sub rent from the competition, but build up some glassware, wash a little bit at home, uh, buy a glass washer, and then when you're ready to make the transition, uh, it's a lot easier. But uh, utilize that sub renting uh, in the midterm, because if you're busy with other stuff, you don't wanna worry about washing glasses. But if you're dead uh, and you do own some glasses or some racks there, you can uh, wash them by hand in your downtime. And then as soon as you're ready to make the transition, it won't be as expensive because you'll have found you know, a machine for a decent price at maybe an auction, some glassware where there's restaurant auctions all the time, and then bam, you're in. If you like this video, this is my next one and I'm gonna keep banging them out. I've got a new space, new processes, so there's plenty of new videos with fresh content coming. Here's my next one. There's a reason why big rental shops have showrooms. And by George, I'm gonna figure it out.